Peabody here. Today, Sherman and I are off to Boston. For beans, Mr. Peabody? No, no, no. For the Battle of Bunker Hill, Sherman. We set the Wayback Machine for June 17, 1775, and in an instant we were teleported to the scene of the battle. Mm. High atop Bunker Hill, we joined the American Army. Look, Mr. Peabody, the British are halfway here already. Oh, indeed they were, and closer and closer they came. Why don't the Americans fire? A good question, Sherman. Uh, uh, pardon me, Lieutenant, but unless you commence firing, the British will be upon you. I know it, but orders are orders. And what were the orders? Not to fire until we see the whites of their eyes. And the way I see it, this battle's going to be over without us firing a shot. I don't understand, Mr. Peabody. Can't they see the whites of the eyes? I'm afraid not, Sherman. You see, the British are wearing sunglasses. Well, the battle might have begun and ended right there if it hadn't been for British tradition. The clock struck four and the English broke for tea. One lump of two, men. Three, please. Quick, Lieutenant. Send someone back to headquarters and have those orders countermanded. A good idea. I'll go myself. You realize, of course, everything depends on speed. Don't worry, sir. I'll be back in a week. A week? Headquarters are in New York. Well, give my regards to Broadway. Quickly, Sherman, we must invade the enemy camp. It was obvious that unless the British removed their sunglasses, the American cause was doomed. We made our way downhill and hid behind a small wooden fence. Now what, Mr. Peabody? Take the spray can, Sherman. It contains white paint. You see this hole in the fence? Well, every time a British soldier peeks through it, spray his sunglasses. But how are you going to get them to peek through the fence? Curiosity, my boy. Seconds later, a do not look through here sign was posted over the hole, and it brought immediate results. How's it going, Sherman? Just fine, Mr. Peabody. Good. Continue spraying until you run out of soldiers. Then meet me at the tent of General Burgoyne. By Jove, Major, that sunglasses idea of yours was positively a stroke of genius. Where on earth did you ever pick it up? In one of the far-off colonies called Long Beach, California. All the natives wear them out there. Begging the General's pardon, sir, but we just caught two blinking spies. You didn't catch us, and we are not spies. General Burgoyne, I am Dr. Peabody, and this is my assistant, Dr. Sherman. The, the doctors? What sort of doctors? Eye specialists. There's an outbreak of spotsitis in the colonies, and... Tea time's up. All right, Major. Have the men resumed the attack. Now what's all this pull to roll about isopotis? Uh, spotsitis. You see, General... General, come quickly. What is it, mate? Are we on the run? No, sir. We're on our backs. Look, every one of our soldiers... Flat on his back, complaining of spots before the eyes. Spotsitis. Spotsitis? Spotsitis. We set up a field hospital in the general's tent. I say, do you always use a magnet instead of a scalpel? In cases of spotsitis, uh, yes. Now close your eyes, please. Now open them. I can see. Oh, I can see. Uh, gets you right here, doesn't it? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Uh... By the time we were through, every soldier in the British Army had been shorn of sunglasses. We presented our bill to Burgoyne and then crept back to the American lines. Here they come, Mr. Peabody! Now remember, men, your orders are not to fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Oh, no, they're not. It's the lieutenant who went to New York. How did you get back so fast? I hit the signals just right. Here are the new orders. To the American Army, do not fire until you see the glare of their sunglasses. Oh! Well, Sherman, back to the enemy camp again. What do we do this time? We'll have to convince Burgoyne the only preventive for a real occurrence of spotsitis is to wear sunglasses. That's correct, General. According to my colleague, Dr. Sherman here, your army must wear sunglasses. By the way, old man, isn't Dr. Sherman a trifle young to be a doctor? Well, he skipped his internship. Your sunglasses, General? Thank you, Doctor. And so the British finally assaulted Bunker Hill. We not only saved the American army, but we coined a new phrase. New phrase? Yes. I think what we did with those sunglasses was definitely a frame-up. Don't you?